Do you know who I love, who you love, who your mum would probably love if you sat them down and introduced each other? William Regal. Be it an interview or just some news that happens to flow down the wire, the man is incredibly respected and he's a wealth of knowledge and on top of that, he's really humble as well. He's basically the perfect human being. He was also mad talented and because of all of this, he has to be considered one of the most underrated wrestlers ever. Why? Here's why. Starting at the start, because where else would we begin? Do you know how hard it is to be universally well respected in the pro wrestling industry? The answer is very hard. It's just a hotbed for arguing and tension, like most jobs are. So to get through all of that and to ignore it and have all your peers go, hey, that guy's all right, gotta have something to you. You gotta have something. You think at some point someone would get mad at you. And while I'm sure there's things in Regal's past that hint at that, like the whole stuff with Goldberg, today, as in the pro wrestling landscape that we're all aware of today, everybody loves him. That's amazing. And do you wanna know why that is? Because he's awesome. Straight and simple. If we're to focus on everything he's done since he hanged up his boots, I think we can all agree that he has become an integral part of the WWE machine. An absolute rock for NXT and helping performers grow and get better as talent, he's also the dude WWE sends out there to see who they should bring in to the performance center. So he's a scout, if you will. He could be working for Arsenal Football Club and looking for defenders. That was a football joke, I'll never make one again. To break that right down, it means that Brass is so confident in William Regal's eye and his ability to scout out gold before they've become gold, they send him out to do just that. And that is saying something about a guy. If you sent me out to try and find a good wrestler, I'd probably fluff it up because I'd be too busy, I don't know, getting popcorn. I don't eat popcorn. My point being, I couldn't do it, and the fact he can do it, yes. And yet Regal's done it time after time. Just go and hunt down some random interviews from guys who are now on the main roster in the world of Vince McMahon. Regal's name almost always comes up because he was the guy that went to whichever promotion they were in and said, look man, just keep doing what you're doing and eventually an opportunity is gonna come up and I'll be there for you. I'll have a loving embrace down in Florida. And then eventually he does offer them up an opportunity too. Power. Now obviously he doesn't do this alone, and I understand that there's plenty of cogs in the NXT wheel and I'm sure he'd be the first person to admit that. But given how important it is and how much he does, I don't think enough people sing his praises. That's why I'm here right now singing his praises, not literally, just saying nice words about him, but more should be said. As a quick aside too, this is also the type of guy that will remember if you interviewed him and then when you interview him for the second time, he brings it up like it was a lovely memory. That is just wonderful. There's no two ways about it. The reason I am going on about this now, however, is because if you take a step back and think about it, this was also kind of what happened during his wrestling career. Regal deserves so much credit for what he did between the ropes. If I could help do that by running my mouth, I'm gonna help do it by running my mouth. What else can I do by running my mouth? Lots of things, actually. Could be like one of those telecom people and run my mouth, be a waiter and upsell the food. But for now, it's about selling William Regal's career. A British wrestler through and through, Regal wrestled all over the world, even going as far as Japan. And as we know, he also broke into the American scene with WCW. Now back in the day, that just didn't happen. There was more to this too, mind, because William Regal may understand the business more than anybody walking around on planet Earth today. Again, just go and hunt down an interview with the man and listens to the things he says and his understanding of how things work. It blows your brain. Your brain literally blows up because you think, he understands this better than I do. Whether it's listening to the crowd and changing his plans on the fly, dressing up like a lady to entertain us, pretending to drink piss out of a cup of tea, which did kind of make me laugh mostly because of his facial reactions, or some amazing promos, go and find that one against Triple H, he always shines. And therefore, that needs a spotlight of its own shining on it. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm shine, shining like a star, wherever you are, William Regal. That didn't work. And it's not like this happened overnight. The man worked his ass off. And I would highly encourage you to go back to 1993 and take in his first ever US title reign, which, by the way, 
started when he defeated Ricky Steamboat at Full Brawl 1993. It's just brilliant, and it's no surprise that he would go back and forth between WCW and the WWE. He was just a talent, and he's a talent you wanted on your books. He's also almost a beacon today for all wrestling talent. I mean, look at what he has achieved. I don't know about you, but I find that inspiring, and it makes me go, well, if he can do it, maybe if I bust my ass and I work really hard too, I'll catch a break, because it can be done. William Regal proves it can be done. Besides, who else could have had this much longevity, but also shown that he's nowhere near surplus to requirements? There's not many people that fit that bill, and currently, Regal's brain and just Regal's aura may as well be the crown jewels at this point. You need it, you've got to lock it away and make sure you keep it close to you. If anybody else gets it, you're going to get screwed. And not because he's going to screw you. I don't mean Regal's going to come back to your, to your office and like paint the walls or chuck eggs at the door. I mean, he's got that much knowledge. You want that knowledge in your company and nobody else's. William Regal is a Hall of Famer without question. As far as I'm concerned, one of the most important people that currently exists in pro wrestling. You know what? I salute him. And I hope you all out there salute him too. Which would be weird, because it's going to be a bunch of people like sat at their desks watching YouTube through a computer screen, and you're all just saluting. I mean, if your parents walk in and see you doing that, they're going to think you've gone crazy. But do you know what you do then? You sit down on the sofa, you load up the WWE Network, you show them some William Regal, and in a few weeks, maybe a few months, maybe in a few hours, Daddy's going to be saluting too. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about all of this. Then like, share and subscribe. Follow What Culture on Twitter at What Culture WWE. And then find me at Simon Miller 316. I am Simon from What Culture. And if William Regal ever does see this, I've got two things to say. Thank you.